Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about A League of Their Own, the new series which is available on Prime Video this Friday, August 12th. Let's dive into it. Let's get my spoiler-free review. But before we do, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this one. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, guys, so the A League of Their Own movie is one of my favorite films of all time. I think it was really important for women empowerment, uh, but the series is quite a bit different. Now, that's not to say it's not about female empowerment, because it definitely is, but it really relies heavily on LGBTQ plus rights, which I think is extremely important, and I'm so glad that they put this in there, because honestly, it's a lot more accurate to what the world would have been at that time, um, what those people were going through at that time with the women, the men, everyone was going through. It's insane to think that it was not only looked down on, but like illegal to the point where you would get beaten up by cops and arrested just for liking someone of the same gender. They actually called them uh, sexual inverts at one point in the series. So yes, this is a series about baseball. It is about the Peaches, which yes, this is an entirely different group of Peaches. These are not the same characters at all. There's not one repeat character. Uh, some of them have similar traits, of course, but they all have different names. They're definitely different characters. It's like, it's like basically, uh, I wouldn't even call it a reboot. It's like a complete reimagining of it because it's very, very different in that aspect. There is all the baseball stuff, but it, again, it relies very, very heavily on uh, a lot of these women struggling um, with liking other women. There are men who like other men in it as well. And then you not only have the Peaches, you not only have the storyline following them, but you have the storyline following Maxine uh, and her friend Clance. And and Maxine is, uh, she's a black woman who is really wanting to try out for the Peaches in the first episode. They don't allow her to. This is not a spoiler. This is very, very early on. Uh, they don't allow her to even try out. And so then now she's struggling, trying to get into the, the Negro League, trying to do whatever she can just to play baseball. It's her passion. She also has a secret that she is holding on to and struggling with. I'm sure you guys can guess, but it explores, you know, the two sides of the LGBTQ plus community in this time, um, just between being, being white and being black. So like, not only does she have that, that she's dealing with, but you know, she's got, they added a layer of being black as well. So there's just a whole lot of social, um, issues in addressed in this. And honestly, there are some scenes that are extremely hard to watch because it's just just absolutely heartbreaking what these people went through. Now, one thing that really didn't work in this series for me, it's, it starts off slow. I will tell you that it starts off a little bit slow. The first three, four episodes, which there's eight episodes. So are a little bit much. And I know they're trying to get you that story, trying to really build up for what is a phenomenal final four episodes, but it's a really heavy and really dense at first. And there's just so much character development. There's like so many characters you have to get to know, which it can be a lot. Okay. And it, it takes a little bit to really get into it. But once you're into it, you guys, I promise you episode three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is phenomenal. Leaves it on a massive cliffhanger where, uh, you know, the, just the, the stakes are higher. There's so much going on towards the end that you're just like, ah, it's so intense and it's so good. And there's just so much going on. Um, but again, there's just a lot of characters. That's one of the problems. It's a little bit slow. And then Nick Offerman plays the coach of the Rockford Peaches, and I adore Nick Offerman. And there's just one point, I can't even remember what episode it was, but he just like disappears. They give you a reason, um, and I guess it makes sense for the story overall, but it's just weird how he just like leaves and he's done and he's not in the series anymore. Uh, that was something that felt off and weird, and it, it honestly takes about half an episode, maybe a full episode, to really find its pacing again after that. Um, but both stories are amazing, you know. You've got the story of the Peaches, like I said, and then you've got the story of Max and her family, which I think is fantastic as well. Uh, lots of emotional moments, lots of 
of high energy moments, lots of interesting moments. I mean, you're dealing with the baseball games as well. And of course, you're rooting for the Peaches to win the entire season. I won't spoil anything uh, and let you know what happens. But I will say it's, it's a great journey. It's a lot of fun. I love that this really focuses back on, uh, makes it more accurate for what the time would have been. And I truly appreciate that. Rosie O'Donnell makes an appearance, which I think is fantastic. I absolutely think her role is one of the most powerful roles uh, in the entire season, even though it's in there very little. It's, 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 it's one that will leave a mark on you. And uh, I want to stop rambling because I don't want to give any spoilers away, but all eight episodes drop on Prime Video August 12th, this Friday. And like I said, it relies very heavily, focuses very heavily on the LGBTQ plus aspect of the times. Yes, there's baseball. Yes, there's, there's a lot of fun stuff. Yes, there's a lot of callbacks to the movie. There's a lot of lines that they sneak in that are from the movie, which fans of the movie will be like, ah, I can't believe they said that. They said the thing, you know, that, ah, they said the thing. That, that's what they do. But I was very, very happy to see that. Uh, like I said, though, it really does uh, focus more accurately on what the times would have been. If you guys have seen this already, by the time you get to this review, let me know your thoughts on the League of Their Own series down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. You guys can follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and yes, now TikTok. Mama's Geeky on all of those platforms. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. You can also check me out at Mama's Geeky. Com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.